welcome back gang for the first time and hopefully many more to come don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here this little bell so you can get those emails every time we go live Peace. Boxing Voice here with Fame Trainer Manny Robles. Uh, congratulations on last night's win. Tonight you didn't get the win, but I want to start off by talking about last night um, with Valdez. He had some scary moments. Uh, he was knocked down. He was hurt. What, what, what was your assessment of the fight now that it's over? Uh, well, we got the W. I mean, it, um, it was a great fight. Uh, Oscar's a crowd pleaser and he likes to give people what they want, a good fight. And... Um, that's the most important thing. And the most important thing is for him to, for you know, gain fans and to, to give people what they want. What was it about the the opponent's style that really gave him fits and where he was able to land those shots in between? We never, we never underestimate any opponent, man. He knew this was going to be a tough fight, just like the last one. And there, uh, you know, there's there's never an easy fight. You know, the fighters, every fighter deserves a tremendous deserves respect. You know, um, uh, Cervania, Tennessee Cervania is a 20, 29 and 0 fighter, you know, undefeated, uh, and he's a top. He's in the top 10 in the world in, the, in his weight class. So there was nothing easy about him, and we didn't underestimate him. And that's if we did, we wouldn't have gotten the W. Okay, and one thing that uh, people do say when they, they assess uh, fights like last night, with, like with Valdez, for example, uh, he seems to load up on every punch. Um, is, is there was is there kind of a sense of urgency last night to where to calm down, work behind a jab, and maybe set up the power shots? Because he seems to load up on every single shot. No, you're right, and I think we did that in the second half of the fight. I think we did that once he got the uh, he got the knockdown. He was knocked down first. He came back and he knocked uh, knocked down uh, uh, Cervania. He was able to. Uh, uh, listen and control his emotions and uh, and box and you've seen him jabbing you've seen him working with uh, high volume punches combinations and obviously looking for the big shots as well so I like to see a combination of speed and 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 and, and power and not just like you said load up on every single shot so at the end of the day you know Oscar's a crowd pleaser man and he likes to give people what they want so sometimes he he makes things a little bit harder on himself than he should so is that maybe something you're gonna discuss with the fighter? They be looking at tape saying you can't you can't really take this kind of punishment because it, it does take shave off uh, maybe time off your prime uh, if 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 you continue to go through battles like this. I mean, is, is that a thought? Correct. No, absolutely, absolutely. It's something that we have to you know sit sit down and, and discuss and 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 review and 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 learn learn from all of us as a team. And uh, but I'm sure I'm sure we'll get there. You know, they they've asked me many times. Uh, uh, you know, what do you? What, how do I assess Oscar? Man, he's got a lot to learn. We got a long way to go. But that's that's a beauty. That's the beauty of the situation. Is I don't I don't think he's even peaked yet. I think he still has a lot more to give and 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 make corrections and become a better overall fighter. And where do you think that comes from? With him, you know, wanting to load up and be a crowd pleaser. Is that his his excitement? He he seems to have a real passion for the sport that is rare with these new age fighters he just lives breathes boxing and he and he he it seems like he's like uh almost in a trance in there where he just wants to do what he does best um is that maybe his excitement his energy since he's still a young fighter where do you think it comes from I mean, you you just answer the question yourself everything that you said that's what that's what that's what that is he's again uh he's a mexican fighter and he's proud of his proud of his boxing heritage and he wants to live up to the the, the great names like juan manuel marquez and and uh, Eddie Morales, and, and Marco Antonio Barrera, Carlos Zarate, uh, uh, Roman Olivares, and I'm mentioning guys that were within the same weight class, not to mention, you know, I know there's a, a lot of other me Mexican greats, but he wants to be remembered and, and, and he wants to be uh, 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 followed and, and remembered most, more, than, more than anything, he wants to be remembered, being, he wants to leave a legacy, he wants to be the best, he wants to fight the best, he wants to unify, he, he doesn't take easy fights. You saw the fight with Marriaga, you saw the fight with Cervania. Marriaga is a tough, tough Colombian fighter. We didn't underestimate Marriaga. He was a number one contender. We came in ready. If he doesn't come in ready, he doesn't win that night. Just like just the situation with Cervania. If he doesn't come in ready, we don't win last night. You win your fights in the gym, it's preparation. So. 
and I want to change it up a little bit because you do have another pro another prospect that is really just um, doing well early. Um, being there in New York live at his, his pro debut, Conlon, um, I've never seen a pro debut like that. He seems to be the same way. He has that fast passion fire that the Irish people are known for. Um, how happy are you with the success and the job that Top Rank is also doing? I think Top Rank and his management team are, are doing a great job and, and you know, traveling the world, if you will, New York, Chicago, Australia, Tucson. You know, we have uh, plans to obviously visit uh, uh, Ireland and fight in Ireland as well. So I'm happy. I'm happy with the way things are coming along. He's 4-0 with four knockouts now. This is only the beginning. You know, the fight challenges are going to get harder. The, the opponents are going to get harder. I know they're not going to get any easier, but it's part of the, you know, it's, it's, it's part of growing. It's part of, you know, making the transition from amateur to pro and uh, getting better with every fight. All right, and Top Rank does have the the track record of building all the stars. Everybody's them: Floyd, Oscar, uh, Miguel Cotto. They even did the impossible, made Chavez Jr. a champion and a big name. So, um, do you think um, you know that is the right recipe? Because uh, what people do kind of criticize them is they take a little long. Are, are you okay with that if they kind of slow cook them and you, you know bring them up the way they brought everybody else up? Uh, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't, I don't think they're taking them. Uh, uh, they're taking long or, or they're moving slow. I mean, he's had four fights this year. This year he turned pro. This year he's had four fights and he's got one more. Uh, we'll be on the undercard of uh, uh, Lomachenko and uh, and uh, Rigendell on December 9th. So that'll we'll end the year with five fights. And I'm I'm, I'm quite certain that after the fifth fight we'll be moving into the eight round. Uh, next year, early next year, we'll be moving to eight rounds. So we're right there, eight rounds. Maybe you get a few four or five fights at eight and then move on to ten. So they're, they're doing a great job and they have a great track record, as you said, you know, they build, uh, whether, whether they like to admit it or not, uh, they, they made Oscar De La Hoya who he is, uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather who he is today, uh, uh, they wouldn't be in this position, Miguel Cotto, uh, uh, so many, uh, Kelly Pavlik, uh, I can mention so many, many other fighters who have great track records, but you know, if you look at the two top guys, the two, one of the two top promoters and fighters, uh, uh, well, you know, uh, and Oscar and Floyd, I mean, well, that says everything. And now they're promoting themselves, so that's, that says a lot about what they can do with the fighter's career. So I'm, um, I'm sure they're going to do the same with, uh, with, with Michael. I'm sure they're, gonna, they're doing a great job. And, you know, everybody's got a job to do. You know, the fighter's got a job to do, which is to get ready and prepare for every battle. And the promoter and management team, of course, they have their job, which is to, you know, promote them and get them ready and get the right opponents and, and move them as fast as possible. All right, well, congratulations on all the success. Um, and one, we'll close with one last question. Uh, what's it like uh, seeing that you had a lot of success because you had some good fighters and y'all y'all have a good run? You have Conlon, you have, uh, you, you know, you have Valdez and two, two spark plugs like that that shine last night. What's it like working with all those fighters and seeing that you're, even you as a trainer, uh, you're blossoming? Uh, yeah, thanks a lot, man. I mean, it's just hard work, hard work, showing up every day and doing what you love to do. You know, as they say, man, when you do, when you, when you do what you love, or when, what you know, you never have to work a day in your life, man. You know what I mean? When you're passionate about your job and your work, it, it's, I don't do it for me, I do it for them. Without them, I wouldn't have the success that I'm having today, so I, I thank them. I thank my fighters and I'm grateful, but at the same time, I know how hard it is to be successful. And also at the same time, like tonight, you know, with Kudryashov and got stopped in the second round, it's hard. It's hard, man. It, it ain't easy. I mean, you know, everybody loves to win, man. But when when we lose, it's 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 the most difficult thing to you can handle. And uh, I give them nothing but respect to Dorticos, man. An unbelievable, great fighter, great great win, and I congratulate him. But then at the end of the day, we walk away with the with the defeat, and it doesn't feel good. So that makes me come back home and work even harder to make sure it doesn't happen again. I hate it. I hate losing. <laughs> So one of the, you know, it's one thing I, 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 I can't live with and I can't sleep at night when it happens. So got to make sure, you know, you put in that work and, and, uh, and uh, make sure it doesn't happen again. Okay, I appreciate the time. And uh, again, congratulations on, uh, on the success. All right, box away.